bus terminals. This is a train station located in the Nyingi area of Mombasa. The architecture behind the shape of the station is inspired by a ripple in the ocean. This train station was opened in 2017 by the President, His Excellency Uhuru Wigai Kenyatta. The Mombasa Terminus is very strict about safety and it's always imperative that a safety check is done for every traveller before boarding the train. There's a process that involves sniffer dogs and lesser scanning of all luggage carried by the passengers including their phones. What the terrorists are moving with their what you call improvised weapons. So say for example if you put a grenade inside that steel uh, metallic container, if it explodes, the metallic container is heavy in a way that it will not explode. It does explode from inside. It can't affect the people. That's why it's not just what they are saying or even what is here. They are all over. Have you had any cases? No. These are just precautions. Just the preparedness. Security threats are all over. The good thing is that the place is fully secure with multi agency team. Yeah. We normally have even the KDF with the army, with the tanks. They move around. So the place is empty. Yeah. 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 What normally happens, uh, somebody who is very sensible, we have got two national languages here, that is Swahili and English. But maybe for those who doesn't understand Swahili or English, most of them they come with their own interpreters. Whoever doesn't have the interpreter, we have got the customer care department, they are able to handle such cases. But then a normal person, even if you don't understand, if you see people putting their bags on their luggage, you on their rack, you also do the same. I think we have uh, which customer services do you provide on the website and uh, can people book tickets online? Yeah. Okay. People, we, we have a website, www. That's uh, the general uh, website for operation. Now, the online one for booking, we have me tickets. Me tickets, me tickets. KRC, Wherever you go to Google Play Store, you search me tickets. Then it will guide you. It has the prompts, the date, time, the type of train, because we are running three types of trains. You have the morning train, which is in the county, from both ends, huh? from Nairobi and also from Mombasa. So that train lives here, it departs Mombasa terminus 8. The other one departs Nairobi 8. They intercept somewhere in between where we change lines. Huh? Then we have an uh, express train now from 3 p.m. Uh, three from the, it departs from 3, it arrives in Nairobi at 10 past 8. We have the night train, which departs here from 10 p.m., it arrives at the other end, 3.35. Both ends, they intercept in between. So booking, we have like two systems. We have, we can book our train using two, three methods. Huh? We have over the counter, you can come. Over the counter, we have our office, getting office whereby you'll have to produce some documents. If you're over 18, you have to produce a national ID or a passport if you're a foreigner. If you're a foreigner, you can produce an alien ID so that you can verify the details because of security reasons. You see, we can't just ferry. Someone might be in our mission running away. So you must verify those details. If it's a passport, it will be verified by the security team. We have the Antera. DCI, you have to check. The place is very sensitive. You can't just come and do all this stuff. So you can also book the ticket using your phone. You dial USSB. We have star 639 hash. You can try. It will give you the prompts. The date, time of the train, uh, class, if it is economy, or first class. Because we have economy class and we have first class, business class.
And how is business now during this campaign period? And business can you okay. give us the statistics maybe business of the past okay. few months? Business okay, like for the past like three weeks. It was uh, back, back to school. You see, we have season. We have high season month from abroad who are coming to visit Mombasa. You see, Mombasa is a tourist attracting place. They come. So we, we even increase the coaches, the number of coaches, like from 10 to 14. But remember, we increase the coaches that it, the train is still fully booked. Because it's very safe, very fast, comfortable, and affordable. You see, we are charging 1,000. We don't rush. During the peak, it's now 1,500. Like the Matatu guys, as it's fixed, 1,000. Because it's regulated by the government. For you to increase the fare, the government, the National Assembly, they have to. We have to agree to sit down, we don't just wake up and increase the fare. So were you affected by the increase in fuel prices? Fuel prices? Yeah. Has no. Okay. We were not. Why? Because it's being, you see now this one is being, uh, is being, uh, being financed by the treasury, the government. So we can't be affected. Maybe we can be affected in a positive way. Customers will come home. Because the Matatu guys will hike the fares because of fuel. This one is using diesel. So, and if it's high up, they won't feel it. It's your money and me, tax. So, we are good to go. And maybe the better your expectation concerning the, ninth, the August 9th election, do you think your business is going to increase after that? Or decrease? Or what are your expectations? Do you have any fears? As we don't have any fears, huh? unless maybe the sales can drop. Because people will have gone to vote, so maybe they want to be around. You see, we have some people who registered our country, so they'll have traveled to our country to go to vote. Maybe the cells can come and just reduce our bit. Yeah. But you know, we don't have any fears because security is very paramount to your day. Even along the line, we have security team who can't harm this thing. It's under 24 hours surveillance. In fact, when you are here, we are being monitored from Nairobi. We know we have guys at Mombasa Tunnels, the CCTVs, that are just watching. So after we are done, we just do phone calls. Actually, we are the students from our university. They have a letter. Yes. This is where people using machines are the ones who are done booking online. You have to pin your mobile number that ordered the ticket online. And we have an account number, it is in seven digits. So you'll have to come and get touch here. Yeah. It's a self service, like my colleague is doing. This one makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> What's up? Eh? <laughs> no, no problem. Mm -hmm. The account number is an uh, account number. Uh, a unique number to yeah. each and every transaction that you make. Haifa Nani Nangina. Yeah. Very unique friend. Then after that you query, you see me. get the bookings that you have done. Mm -hmm. Like for this one, mm -hmm. it's first class traveling on 24 this month, 3 p.m. from Mombasa to Nairobi. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you need to print, you just press print. Mm -hmm. print. So, it has a coach number and a city number. And the date, destination, time. See, this is the ticket. It has a serial number. It has a destination. QR code. QR code for scanning. The date. The amount. Seat. The type of class. And the ticket is not transferable. Once you are Judy Kawira John, you can't transfer this, this ticket to someone else. Hmm? Yeah. I'm pleased to have you see share here with my other people and I'm mm. too. Mm. Yeah. 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 So this one, uh, just, just a uh, demonstration, huh? Yeah. Yes. So. Mm. So. The train tracks are off limits for anyone who isn't authorized to be on them. Passengers get an announcement on the train being ready to board. 
The first class passengers sit upstairs while the economy class sit downstairs. The train station is strict on time and being late can lead to a passenger being left behind. A ticket refund in this case is not possible.